XSTAR EP9 Gen 2 review by GunMade.com. Special thanks to Natchez Shooting and Outdoors for providing the ammunition for this review. Unless you've been living under a rock for the last decade, you probably realize or, or have seen that pistol caliber carbines are some of the most popular firearms available in the market today. Uh, XSTAR uh, entered this market in 2018 uh, with their EP9 series of pistols um, and really set themselves apart um, for a couple of different reasons. Uh, probably first and foremost is, is to get noticed, sometimes you get to have the best price. And, and XSTAR definitely comes in with a price point that catches people's attention. Um, <laughs> after that, when you think about the XSTAR, um, it's the way that it's made, right? It's a polymer um, PCC, um, and it feels different than a lot of the other PCCs out there. Um, and that's going to be important when you're trying to set yourself apart from other um, PCCs in the market. One thing you'll notice with the X-Star is it's incredibly light um, Pistol caliber carbine, um, very very handy. It feels really good um, in the hand. It's really good um, when you're shooting it. It feels great. Uh, you'll see here with these pictures that I just had of of the Gen One and, and the Gen Two X Star um, that the pistols are really nice um, form factor. Uh, I really enjoyed the way um, both my Gen One and my Gen Two have shot, um, and I would really recommend, um, really for anybody who wants to get a PCC, that the, the XR is a great place to start. Um, let's talk about some of the differences and features. The difference here between the Gen One and the Gen Two is this blast director on the Gen Two. Um, a lot of people like the way that looks over how the Gen One muzzle device looked. Anyone who's taken um, time to shoot an AR-15 um, will be pretty familiar with the controls on the X-Star. The safety selector is the same or very similar. The, the bolt release is very similar. Um, and the manual of arms is just a very similar uh, uh, between the two um, firearms. One major difference is the charging um, handle. On, you know, on AR, the charging handle is there up by your face. Here on the X-Star, you can see it's on the side of the firearm coming off the side of the receiver. Um, one thing you'll notice with XRs is they don't come with any sights. Um, they do have a rail on top though, and this is how you're gonna mount um, either your iron sights or your optics. Um, I personally have put um, Sig Romeos or Hollow Suns on my um, couple um, EP9s, um, and that's worked out really well for me. All right, I'm going to get here. We talk about uh, my experiences on the range with my XR EP9. Uh, but before I do, I want to go in here and give a shout out to Natchez um, Shooting and Outdoors. Uh, they provided all of this gorgeous um, 9mm ammo for me to go shoot. Um, and as anybody knows, um, more ammo is always better, and I had a blast going out to the range and shooting this. Okay, let's talk about my experiences shooting the EP9. Um, because I own a Gen 1, um, I did have some comparisons that I could do. Um, and, and one thing I will say immediately is shooting it without a pistol brace. Um, the, the Gen 1 came with a pistol brace, but because of the... Um, Goings on with the federal government um, and the ATF, um, pistol braces were not being um, – XRs were not being shipped with pistol braces. So when I got this uh, Gen 2, it does not have a pistol brace. Um, that makes a big difference in, in the feel and controllability in my mind um, of, of shooting um, the, the EP9. That being said, the EP9 is still very easy um, – pistol to shoot. Um, recoil is very manageable. Um, it's a light. It points well. Um, just, just a real good time shooting it. Reliability wise, the XR is a very reliable firearm. Uh, I've been able to put a lot of different types of rounds through it. Uh, you saw the, the PMC bronze provided by Neches. Um, Ergonomically, the rifle or, or the, the pistol feels fantastic, guys. I, I really love the way it feels. I, I had a friend who had never shot a PCC before, and he compared it to my Strybog. Um, <laughs> and he said if the Strybog's an AK, then the, then the um, XR EP9's an, an AR, um, just just the, the way it compares. Um, customization, you can definitely do a lot of customizable things with this uh, firearm. Um you can um, 
add optics. You can change the handguard. You can change the magazines. Um, there's definitely some aftermarket support out there. Um, it, 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 you can change the pistol grip. Um, there's a lot of stuff that you can do with your EP9. Let's talk about accuracy. This is my best five shot group that I had um, on my most recent range trip. Um, I think this was a shot at 15 yards. Um, I preferred, to be honest, shooting steels. It's a lot more fun to me most of the time. Um, but I figured that putting some, some shots on paper also um, is definitely important. Um, and so you'll see here um, my overall um, target um, after I don't know how many shots. Um, but but the XR punches paper, and it punches paper well. Um, and it punches paper well with lots of different types of ammunition, um, be it uh, full metal jacket or hollow points. I, I've put several different types of hollow points through and never have had an issue um, with the EP9. So tying it all together, the EP9 is just a fantastic pistol caliber carbine. It's lightweight, it's compact, it's ergonomic, uh, it's a fun shoot. Like, it, it's, it's really... Um, but I'll probably um, start my own kids on when they get old enough to shoot something larger than a 22. Um, X-Star focused on the features that would make a good pistol caliber carbine, and and they hit it out of the park. Um, it, it is a great uh, PCC. Um, the changes that they made between Gen 1 and Gen 2 um, – are what the community asked for, and you really can't ask for much more from a manufacturer than them listening to the community. Um, the price point on the EP9 is fantastic. Um, going for for four hundred and forty nine dollars is just just wow um, for what you get for for what you pay for. Um, should you grab an XR EP9? 100% you should. Um, and, and you'll see that XR is even uh, expanding the, the line. Uh, there's a 45 uh, caliber version out there now, too. Um, and, and the use of Glock magazines, um, everything about this gun is just something that you that, that screams quality and something that screams, pick me up, um, I'm a great uh, firearm.